Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFriendly.com with another Android app review. This review is being brought to you by AndyTags.com, which is a uh, soon to be opening web store for NFC stickers and tags. So you can check that out soon. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing an app called Video Live Wallpaper. Um, what this app does, very simply, it allows you to choose any video on your phone and set that video as your live wallpaper. Um, and this opens up a world of possibilities for some really, really cool uh, effects. And also another good thing about it, it doesn't um, burn a lot of battery. Um, it actually, you would think that it would burn more battery than your average live wallpaper, but in reality, um, I think it's on the low side as far as how much battery it burns, which is awesome. So anyway, uh, let's hop on my phone and I'm going to show you how it works and some various uh, ideas of ways you can use it and have some really cool video live wallpapers. Okay, so here you have my home screen and as you can see in the background, there is a video playing, animated video. If you don't recognize it, of course, it's an episode of Family Guy. And I am not a Family Guy fan at all. But this one particular episode called Road to the Multiverse happens to be uh, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. So that's why I have it on my phone. This is not really a good uh, live wallpaper background because there's a lot of stuff happening. So it's kind of busy and kind of makes it, you know, can make it difficult to see your uh, icons and things. But I thought it was a good example, so I wanted to set it just to show you the fact that you can use anything. And as you can see, the way I have it set up right now, the video is uh, stretched. Not stretched, it's really at its normal resolution, and which obviously wouldn't all fit on the screen, the shape of the screen. So as you go through your home screens, it shifts to other parts of the video. Um, this is not a good way to watch a movie. I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but it's just a cool background. Um, again, this particular video isn't the best video for an example. So I'm going to show you some other things. Uh, if we hit uh, menu, I'm going to go to my live wallpapers and go down to video live wallpaper, which is here. I'm going to click that. And then you go to settings and you'll see it is a free um, live wallpaper, but you can donate as you can see here. This is where you pick your file or directory. So you go in here and uh, you can choose any uh, uh, anywhere on your SD card or on your phone. It's already pointing to my video directory because uh, I set that up before. So now I can just pick different uh, videos. So I'm going to pick this video. And then you can also, if you want, you can uh, have it select a random file from a particular uh, directory. Um, so you, you could have it, uh, and you can have it just play continually all the files in a directory um, if you just pick a directory. I pick a specific file, but you could pick just a folder and then let it play all the videos in that folder, and then you could choose if you wanted it to uh, be random. Um, swiping smoothness. This allows you to decide you want smoother swiping or do you want smoother video. Uh, I usually leave it on smoother video because I think the video being smooth in the background is more important to me. But you can change that or play with that. Rendering mode. So this is how's it going to render. Classic, which is what you saw before. Letterboxed. So then it puts the, the black lines up and above and puts the entire video um, on your screen or stretched, and stretched smushes the entire video onto your screen. So obviously, uh, since your phone is generally the opposite of what a video would be, since it's tall and skinny, it smushes it into that format. But it actually can work, and I'll show you an example of that as well. Um, and then do not skip frames. Uh, this will prevent frame skipping if the video's uh, FPS is too high. Um, I would leave that unchecked, and then if you don't like the way it's playing, if it seems to not be playing smooth, you could check that and see how that works for you. And then shift video. This is if you want it to uh, shift when you're swiping between home screens. Uh, 
definitely I think something to do if you're going to have it in the classic rendering mode. And then swiping lag, how quickly the video follows swiping. Um, you can have it instant, fast, normal, slower, slow. I just have normal, but you can change that. And then debug mode. This shows the frames per second and a lot of info. It's basically something that it says, keep this disabled. This is really for developer uh, type of stuff. And that's pretty much it. So now that I picked that one video, we're going to set the wallpaper. And as you'll see, this is a much, uh, much better um, wallpaper probably because it's, uh, it's static. Uh, it's it's uh, just an aquarium and now you might see this little blue line going up that's not the app's fault that's the video this video that I uh, converted the way it converted it it causes that little tiny blue line um, but that, I mean it doesn't really bother me that much if it did then I could try reconverting it to, to a better format and uh, you can, on their website, uh, they tell you, explain to you, like, what is the best format and how to convert to and what works best for your phone. Obviously, it's going to depend on your phone's resolution. And I converted this video actually for my old phone, which may be one reason why uh, it's, it's not uh, necessarily ideal for this phone. I'll probably do a new one for this phone. So I think this is a cool wallpaper. Um, it's meant, came with the DVD, and it's meant to be like a wallpaper on your TV or like a screensaver on your TV or on your computer so it's kind of cool to set it as your backdrop so that's an animated aquarium let's switch it up and I'll show you another cool thing you can do and I'm just gonna pick this is something I took with my phone So these are, this is at an aquarium, I did this video of the seahorses, it's not the best video in the world because I was holding my phone and my hand shaking a little bit obviously, but uh, it's still, it's pretty cool, it's very, you know, because there's not a lot of movement, they're seahorses, they just kind of float around, so it kind of serves as a good, uh, good backdrop. And you can see all the choices I made as I swipe, it moves. Uh, it moves at a normal speed and the video just loops. This is a short video. It's like a 30 second video I think so when it gets to the end it just starts right back over at the beginning and All videos will do that um, You can't pick like an in and an out time It'll play the entire video from beginning to end and when it gets to the end it starts back over So now that you've seen that let me show you real quick I'm going to the same thing, just going about it the long way into my live wallpapers. And let's see, I'm going to pick a different video. This time, rendering mode, I'm going to pick stretched. And you're going to see it smushes the entire video onto the screen. So as you can see, it's very tall and skinny <laughs> because it's smushing, compacting the, so that the entire video is on your screen. So it can be cool depending on what, you're, what video you know, you're using. Uh, obviously when it's set like that, there's no, uh, 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 no swiping because as you swipe, there's nothing to swipe to. The whole video is on your screen. So, depending on the video, that may be a preferred uh, effect to have, so that it just the whole video doesn't the video doesn't move, just your screen moves. Might make it more easier to read. And then let's go back, and I'll show you real quick what happens when you do letterbox. Change it to letterbox. And as you'll see, it's gonna put bars. It's gonna again squeeze the entire video onto one screen, 
but it's going to leave it at its original aspect ratio. So this is the actual aspect ratio of the screen. You have black bars above and below. And so there's no swiping because the whole video is on your screen, but it's in its original um, aspect ratio. Um, personally, for me, I don't see any reason why uh, you would want to use that version because it, I don't know, it just it doesn't look that good to me. If you're watching a movie, yes, of course, you want to watch it in its original format. But as a wallpaper, I think you either want to use the classic where you uh, swipe to get, see different parts of it or the stretched where it fills the entire screen. To have a video just playing in the middle of your screen, to me, eh, not such a great live wallpaper. But anyway, that is... Uh, video live wallpaper. Let's switch it back to something that is uh, really cool. And so this is another video I took at an aquarium. This is a, a live aquarium. And this is kind of kind of a one of the better backgrounds because you know everything in the aquarium has kind of that aqua bluish look so even though there's colorful fish swimming by it's not a busy background and my icons as you can see stand out from it and are very uh, easy to see and easy to read and again this video isn't the best because I took it with my own phone and it's kind of shaky but uh, you can see how you could stick this up to an aquarium wall or even to a home fish aquarium and just if you were really still and got good 30, 45 seconds of video or a minute of video, you know, it could make a really great um, live wallpaper or anything, anything that any video that you have. If it's not uh, in the right format, uh, you can go to the website for live video wallpaper and they uh, help explain what the best formats are and you can convert it to the correct format and uh, have a really cool live wallpaper to uh, show off to your friends. So that was the app Video Live Wallpaper, which is available on the Google Play Market. And best of all, it is free. Um, I had it on my old phone for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, with my old phone, I had too much stuff on it and not enough power, so I didn't get to use it that much. But now that I've got the uh, Galaxy S3, I've been using it and it works great. It, uh, it doesn't uh, take a lot of processing power and it doesn't burn a lot of battery. And uh, as you could see, there's just uh, a lot of possibilities, a lot of really cool things you can do with it, um, either from video you've taken on your phone yourself or from videos you pull from your collection or from the internet or something. Anyway, um, as always, this is Eric from HollywoodPhoto.com reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.